When creating assemblies with moving components, we want to be aware if we've got any problems by collision. Now, as we move this handle through its range of motion, one thing I'd like to know to see if there's any collisions anywhere between the link and the actual base of our clamp. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to go to the move component, and I'd actually want to select the collision detection between all components, and I want it to stop at any collision, and I'd like SolidWorks to inform me by highlighting any faces and playing a sound. So, if we carry on with our drag, we move our handle back and forward, what will happen is we can see that as we get a collision down here, the faces have indeed highlighted and a sound has been played. Now this isn't the intention of the design because what we'd like to do is actually get these two components here to actually touch before the actual link is fouling on the actual base plate. So what we're going to do is find out how much clearance is actually involved here. So if we go back to our move component command and when this time we, we enable a ch dynamic clearance and we'd actually, actually like to check the clearance between this component and here, resume the drag and run through our particular uh, range of motion again. Now as these two faces highlight because they're colliding what we can do is we can see a value in the property manager but you'll also see it was actually highlighting on the screen and if we zoom in and we click on this particular face we can see that value of 0.78 now this value enables me to actually make a, a design change so what I'm going to do is go to the actual component itself and we're going to change the value from 0.625 to 0.75 and we'll rebuild that and we'll run through this particular command again. So again using the move component we're going to check or we're going to do a collision detection we're going to check all components but this time what I'd also like to do is use a dynamic clearance and check between this component and the actual link itself. So we should actually get a value by the time that these two components do in fact collide. So we're going to resume the drag and we're going to move our handle. You can see the value is showing on the screen and as we just move a bit closer we do in fact get the collision and we do actually get this value here now of 0.047 and again if we zoom in and click on here we can see that particular value is listed on the screen. Therefore, I know that the design is acting as intended.